This is the Daily Pulse. I'm Travis Zimmerman from Speak My Word Ministries. The episode today is, Are You Under Attack from the Enemy? Serious subject and, and, and difficult topic to discuss, actually. You know, we, we love when God is outwardly blessing us and we're living life and we think we're, we're hitting all the green lights in life. Everything's coming our way. We got the wind at our back, that type of thing. We, we love that. But there are times when we come under attack from the enemy, and I just came through one by God's grace, several day long, and you know, the source of it, you know, ostensibly my wife's health and, and just the challenges it is for her, seeing her in pain all the time, and you know, many of the things that she can't do anymore, it's just tough to see your wife in that kind of pain. And then just working through this, and, and, and the new reality, and mom and dad being gone, and it's things are tough sometimes, you know, and I and, I and I recognize those and I just prayed and prayed to God, you know, pray, please. I mean, I felt like I was walking around with like cement shoes and going through the motions. And even in times like that, brothers and sisters, God has a remedy. And the remedy that I, I, I defer to is James chapter four, verse seven. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Cling to God and he will Come, come near to God and he will come near to you again. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. James chapter 4 verse 7. This is imperative, brothers and sisters, that we grab on to God in those times. We recognize that, you know, if we knew that we were driving along and we we're going through a tunnel, we'd, we'd turn our lights on, wouldn't we? We'd say, well, it's going to be dark, so let me turn my lights on because I don't want to be in this tunnel and not see anything. But going into a spiritual attack, it's not is easily defined as that we'll find ourselves in the middle of it and not have turned our lights on. A lot of times what we do when we don't turn our lights on effectively is we're, we're, we don't pray. We, we don't turn to God. We don't submit to God. We don't get in our quiet time. We, we don't want to be at church. We don't want to do anything that has to do with God, do we? We just want to kind of go into a, you know, a fetal position and, and just, you know, go in defensive position and just crouch. And what, the Apostle James here is saying is submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. And in other words, these attacks will always last. And knowing that we can trust in God even when things are difficult, even most of all when things are difficult, we can trust God to take us through that always. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords and he's our deliverer. In Jesus' name, amen.